What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Dark Aether grind here on my second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from Jay Shiriani. Hopefully, I said that right. Uh, but he wants to use the Street Sweeper on Forsaken with no optics. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Also, if you want to suggest any weapons for us to do, make sure you leave a comment down below. I'll also have a comment there if I remember. I'd be forgetting uh, of what weapons we already have complete. So make sure you check that out before you leave a comment. But uh, don't forget to leave your suggestions. Now, I already went ahead and leveled this up on stream. If you guys want to stop by the streams, we usually play Outbreak in some open lobbies to get these things leveled up. So if you want to come by, hop in a game, make sure you check out the streams. But we did get this level 33, a little higher than we normally go. But I promise you, we do not have that much more progress than usual. Uh, our kills may be a little bit. We're at 980. So we only really need a thousand more, or I guess a thousand five hundred. So still a lot to do there. But for our crits, we only have 200 out of 2,500. So that is a lot. And for our brush stroke, we only have 723 pack a bunch of kills out of 2,500. Uh, our vintage is done. Our fauna is done. Our topo is near there. And then we're going to need to get some jackrabbit medals as well but really quick for our attachments i'm gonna be going with the agency choke i feel like the increased drop rate is also is very good and fire accuracy is good and we need that tighter ads spread so that way we can get those headshots a little easier uh, for our barrel i'm going task force here but i think i might make a class with the cavalry once we start getting the higher rounds that way those armored zombies aren't much of a problem and then we have the ember sighting point uh, this will give us more drop rate. Our hip fire will be a little better. I'm going with the 18 round mag because reloading this thing is a chore. So I want to have as much ammo on there as possible, especially when we get pack a punch. And then the SAS combat sock is going to help us with our aim movement speed and our aim walking movement speed. So hopefully that helps us stay alive longer going for headshots. But I'm going to go ahead and make a class real quick with this cavalry barrel. I'm going to name it late round. Save as new mod. And then switch it back to the task force to start. And for our field upgrade, I want to use Aether Shroud and I feel like we will, but we're going to be switching between Aether Shroud and Ring of Fire here. I feel like Aether Shroud is very useful because using it will automatically reload it, which we know takes forever to do. So I think we're going to start with Aether Shroud. But if we can find a spot to settle down at, I think Ring of Fire is going to be more efficient. It's just going to suck when we don't have Ring of Fire and we don't have ammo. That, that, that's going to be the two main things. But with Aether Shroud, we get to hold two of them. It, it, it's a toss up here. So I'm going to switch between wherever I feel like it's working the best. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop him forsaken and try to get this thing done why did it make the buy sound as i got in there okay all right i guess we're heading on in here let me make sure that it has the right attachments it's looking like it does even though it says it's the late round one okay every time i switch out of that it, it, it does the sound like i just bought the weapon but it looks like we're chilling let me make sure that we get these headshots i'm gonna try to get through this portal as fast as possible because i want to go right for dead shot we have so many crits to get we basically have to get all of them so i'm trying to get those as soon as we can because my aim on controller without insane aim assist got awful but i just want you guys to be aware of how slow this thing is so once i empty out this magazine i'm going to show you the entire reload on this thing so speed call is going to be a must pack a punching it is going to be a must because when we pack a punch it we can reload multiple shells at a time besides just one and then hopefully aether shot helps us out as well i'm also being going for every single uh like max ammo we see but i have one bullet left in this look at this okay one two three you guys get the picture this is how long it's taking I, it has 18 shells in it hold on i gotta mount this climb over here and then continue the reload it has 18 shells in it and it takes forever to get done like this double point is gonna be done by the time we're done reloading this like there we go but we can shoot them out within a fraction of the time it takes us to reload it so most of this time is going to be reloading. I'm going to have to find a way around this that is also efficient for getting the camos. So I'm going to get a few more kills here. So that way I have enough money to keep moving on throughout the map. There's our cartographer camo. Looks like they, they fixed that. So it's not just showing rapid kills. A quick level up too. I'm actually going to stun all these guys with some extra points that way. And that way they're all staying in one spot for me. There's our amphibian camo, 250 crits. Let's go. All right. And by let's go, I mean, let's get out of here. Still reloading this thing. Good thing we have an aether shroud though. I'm, I'm going to be popping those soon, but I'll wait till we actually need them. All right, let's head down here. Uh, we're already like pretty low on ammo too. So we might have to get mule kick pretty early here. It feels like this gun needs more help than, than anything. Like you really have to play around its reload so much. It's ridiculous. Let's open this. I'm going to grab the loose change from quick revive as well as grab it. Cause I have no idea how this is going to go. I don't want to be caught on the ground already using my self revive early in this game. Let me open this up. A nuke. I don't want that. Let's head through. Glad you're here to witness my crown. Shut up, Peck. Lick balls. Okay, let's open this up. I'm grabbing the loose change from Mule Kick, and then I'm also just going to buy it. We already need ammo. Mule Kick also, probably one of the coolest perk machines out there. And we're completely out of ammo. Did any of those zombies drop ammo, or am I going to have to buy some? I'm going to have to buy some. Come on, zombies. Can't help me out. Where's ammo at? In here? 
Okay, I'll take some. Where's the part while we're here? There it is. Crazy how fast we went through 108 shells. Ridiculous. It's only round six. It doesn't help that this thing's pretty weak as well. Like until you get this thing pack-a-punched, it is not very good. I'm just going to Aether Shroud now to save me time. But even after you Aether Shroud, you go through it so fast. And we have two zombies left in the round. Not that much cash to work off of since we had to buy perks so early. So we might have to just train in this area for a bit. But I'm going to work my way towards Deadshot. Where's that TV? There it is. And I think we have enough to open this door. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to grab the loose change from Deadshot. But unfortunately, we're too broke to buy it at the moment. We'll have to wait. I'm going to buy that before we get our parts. That way I can make sure that we're getting as many crits as we need. This thing actually takes like a whole three business weeks to reload. Ridiculous weapon. There we go. There's some crits that we need. Love to see it. And a max ammo. Give me that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Instantly reloads the mag. One of the underrated features of Cold War. You don't have to reload before picking it up. Let's head in over here. Where's your flashlight, pal? And you left it over here. And let's go ahead and grab our fryer. Let's rev up those fryers. Get the loose change from Elemental. And I'm going to grab Deadshot. Maybe I'll train here until we have enough to get pack a punch. Actually, I don't know how we're going to kill this, this abomination. I feel like this thing's so weak. Like, we're going to have trouble with them. Maybe we'll have enough scrap to upgrade it by the time we get there. I think we do. A thousand. A thousand green should be good to at least get it to blue. I really need to ADS more with this thing. I keep trying to hip fire for all my kills. But with that... Our our attachments that we got, ADS is going to be so much more efficient. Especially now that we got Deadshot. There's no there's no point in not ADSing. There we go. Look at them crits fly in. And we can just Aether Shroud. We don't have to waste the time of reloading. And a max ammo, so we don't have to waste the time of reloading. I think there's one zombie left in the round. It's probably the perfect time to go fight the Abomination. Assuming we have enough money to open the next door, I think we do. Wait first. There we go. Give all the boys some love. Pop this open. All right. Yeah, we're good. Let's see how this does against the Abomination. After a little upgrade, of course, we need it to get green. No blue, actually. We're close, though. We can get armor later. Come on out, Abomination. I'll give you a kiss, too. One for each head. Go ahead. Charge me. I dare you. Idiot. Buffoon. Hit you right in the mouth. Oh, this is actually doing crazy damage against him. I thought it was going to do a lot worse. We just got to wait uh, a whole lunar year for it to be done reloading. If this thing just had like infinite ammo, it would probably be like the best weapon. Best weapon ever. But no, unfortunately, we're not that lucky. We got the abomination killed. We'll pick up that max ammo instead of reloading and let's move on. Now, unfortunately, we don't have enough to pack a punch yet. But I'm going to go ahead, lift the lock down, grab this loose change, and then we'll head back to spawn until we do have enough to pack a punch. I have no idea where I'm going to grind this at. There is like no grind spots here. I feel like we're going to have to sit on top of the box here and spawn. But also, I've, that spot's so inefficient. But there's just no grind spots. Why'd they have to get rid of the truck? The truck was like the best. It wasn't too overpowered. I don't even think it was overpowered at all because you had to constantly leave after like, I don't know, round 27 to avoid just getting like railed on. Like, there's no point them uh fixing that all right headshot time baby and we have enough to pack a punch so i'm gonna go ahead and do that we only have one zombie left anyways there we go and let's go ahead and throw cryo on here as well but this is what the street super looks like pack a punch here on forsaken it actually looks really nice i don't understand why this sas combat stock doesn't get any like camo coverage on it i was noticing that earlier when we we're looking at our camo progress but it definitely should i don't know why it just stays wood i guess it can work on some camos as an accent but i don't really think it fits here camo looks good uh other places though the mag oh wait i'm getting radiated the mag also doesn't get covered i don't understand a lot of the dlc weapons have great coverage the the street sweeper must just be an exception i don't have a blueprint on this or anything it's just looking awful it, it, it looks like mismatched legos like I, I took them from two different sets oh well but now at least we have 45 rounds in the mag as opposed to 18 which is exceptionally better uh let's go ahead and upgrade this thing or upgrade our armor to one so at least we have a little bit of armor and i guess we can try to ride this out i guess we can try to set by death perception this is another spot that kind of works and if we're using aether shroud shouldn't it be too bad to get out of here if things get hairy and of course right after we buy armor there's some armor on the ground it seems to always work like that it's like after buying ammo like max ammo drops oh there's downfall 750 kills while it's packed not bad i'm just waiting to see that 750 crit camo pop up because we're at 162 right now not crazy but that gap is already huge for this early in the game I think we just finished leveling this thing up. We got this level 35. Let's grab Death Perception. Start getting that scrap up. Upgrade our armor. Upgrade our street super faster. Easy peasy. And speaking of upgrades, let's get this thing to blue. And we can't afford anything else at the moment. And I think next, we need to save up and get Speed Cola. Shouldn't be too far away. Should be able to get it this round. I just have to remember to do it. Because I get caught up in the grind sometimes. I just be sitting here killing zombies. Not focusing on uh, what I need to go pick up. So like contamination camo. We're moving on with our jackrabbits. I honestly kind of want to try to turn on the rampage inducer, but I know I'm 
I'm just gonna get fucked up. I just want the rounds to go a little faster. I don't want to get like pounded for it. All right, let's go get speed cola. All right, hopefully I don't get taken out when I grab it. Doesn't look like there's very many zombies out anyways, but there's speed cola. Get out of here, Plague Hound. Don't want to hear it. Maybe I'll try to stay in this area for a little bit so we can get some uh, more perks while we're by the Wonder Fizz. Also, I never grabbed this loose change. Please don't grab the nuke. Thank you. I gotta make sure here in these early rounds that we're really focusing on these crits. And it actually looks like if we load five slugs at a time, so maybe we should just get Ring of Fire. It doesn't seem too bad of a reload right now. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my prediction out there for what round I think we're gonna be done, and I think it's gonna be at like 43. I feel like this one's gonna be a late one, just because these crits are a little difficult to get with the pellet spread, especially if I'm not focusing too hard on them. So I'm gonna try to ingrain it in myself now to do it, but also glitch camo. Okay, what other perks do we need? I guess I'll grab Jug. Not a bad choice. Oh, there's our Conviction Camo. All done with our Jackrabbits. What else could be helpful here? I guess Stamina Up. If we do need to run and reload, that'll make it a little easier. And I have not really been using these uh, Aether Shrouds. I don't want to like just switch to Ring of Fire and waste them. But also, I haven't had the need to reload, really. I guess it's still like an early round, so it's like not that crazy. But I don't know. I, I always get so conflicted during these grinds of what I want to use. Because I feel like once I start using the other one, I'm going to need the abilities for the one that I just switched off of. But for right now, this thing's like holding its own. I don't really need much time to reload. I'll just do this. It's done. Oh, and a mimic, you little bitch. It shredded. And let's go ahead and get PhD. And I will get I will get Tombstone. I've learned my lesson. I, I make fun of Tombstone a lot. I say it's worthless until I have no self-revive and no elemental pop with quick revive on a high round. And I'm just I'm down on the ground and I can't get up. So I'm gonna get it just as a precaution. Oh my god, there's abomination. What's up, fella? This is doing nothing to him now, which is great. Oh, until he has like the crit mouth, and then he's done. Later, loser. But I'm gonna stay here until you have enough for tombstone. Maybe even enough for pack two. Actually, no, just tombstone. We'll get tombstone, and then we'll head back to spawn because these spawns here are really slow. Oh, double points? Maybe, maybe we will have enough for pack two by the time we're out of here. Okay, maybe we won't have enough for pack two, but we're close. We're getting there. Those are still more zombies. Get out of here. I definitely need to get a lot closer to these zombies. I feel like that task force barrel is really limiting my damage range or it's some other attachment. I can't remember if the task force does that or not. We have no damage range. We need to be up a lot closer to get that tighter pallet spread, but... I now have Tombstone, so let's go ahead and head back to spawn. And I'm going to go ahead and switch to Ring of Fire until I feel like I cannot hold my spot at uh, Death Perception. Once I can't hold that spot anymore, I'll switch to Aether Shroud. I feel like that's that's a good plan. So far, so good. Hopefully, I'm not jinxing myself here. I can still kind of hold my shit in here. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. No, I can't. That decoy really saved my life. But if we bring a fire, a lot, looking a lot nicer here. Definitely way more efficient. Just the amount of shots I can put out in that short amount of time. Oh, now we have it. Okay, 36 is the highest level for it. I was thinking it was uh, it was 35, but there's our bloodshed camo. I think as long as we're throwing a little decoys here, we can probably survive to around 25 with ring of fire. Make those rounds go by a little faster. And then Aether Shroud for the rest of it. Ooh, a max ammo. Perfect. Exactly what you want to see when you have a ring of fire ready. So I will waste all the ammo here. Hit that ring of fire. Grab that max ammo and we're golden. I should probably see if I can upgrade this thing. It's been a little bit. Yep, let's get it to purple. Let's get our armor level two. That'll definitely help us survive level three as well. And then we'll just save up for gold. Oh, we have an abomination coming. So we gotta throw a little decoy. Get this thing reloaded. And just a few more kills and we got a ring of fire. There we go. That abomination is toast. Yep, goodbye. This thing is just disgusting in a ring of fire, but it's it's reloads so awful. Like the, the biggest challenge about this gun is reloading it. Oh, and we have enough to get packed too. So I'm gonna go do that. That might help out a little bit. Okay, so let's grab pack two. And this is what pack punch two looks like on the street sweeper. Not bad. Looking real nice. I just wish it covered the mag and the, the stock. Like they really stick out like a sore thumb. Like even look like look at this. Even a little inside on there. Like on that screw into the mag is covered. But the, the rest of the mag isn't. Like if it, if it covered the mag, this gun would look beautiful. But I just don't want to do that. Oh, Disciple. What are you doing waiting there for me? Oh, there's our boundary camo. Jeez, I can't speak. 750 crits. We're moving up. We still need to double that. And then double what we get out of that. We have so many crits to go. I'm also kind of thinking of just sticking with Ring of Fire. Just for this guy right here. This abomination goes down so easy with the Ring of Fire. I feel like with Aether Shroud, like, I mean, we're going to be able to reload faster and stay safer from a bunch of other zombies. But it, we're still going to do, like, very low damage to the abomination. Like, I, I, I don't know what we're supposed to do. 
Maybe I'll just try to tough out Ring of Fire. If I play it smart, like we can still like get reloads off with decoys and such like we're doing right now. I don't know. I, I, I guess we'll see. We'll, we'll keep doing this until maybe I go down because it's oh, like I said, I was going to be done at round 25 using it, but the, the abomination kind of changed my mind a little bit. I just forget how many elites are on this map. Like now we got a disciple coming in. We're going to get Mangler soon. We've already seen Mimics. Like there's so many elites on this map. I feel like the extra firepower is going to help us out. And a quick train, like that's not, that's not hard to do. Okay, this though, this is this is where I, I start to think Aether Shroud might help when I'm getting crowded in this corner. But we fought our way out. We're big boys. And we should probably just go get a uh, pack three. I think that might help as well. This is what pack punch three looks like on the, what is this, the Street Sweeper? I, I'm, not, I'm even forgetting the name. The camo looks great. I, I just still have the complaints about the coverage. Like it doesn't cover certain attachments. It's weird. I don't know why it's like that. It would look so beautiful on this drum, but no, I don't want to do that. Lame. I just gotta remember to use these decoys when I'm low on ammo. It seems like the zombies have been either dropping them enough for me to pick up more, or Mule Kick's just been helping out with me keeping them. It's worked out pretty well so far. I can just throw that down, hit this, get our drench camo easy, and now we're full up on it. We can get a few kills here. Ring of fire, because we're getting crowded. Holy shit. Oh yeah, it's getting a little difficult now. I was right about round 25 being like close to the breaking point. But we'll tough it out. We can do this. We're gamers. Oh, and we have enough to fully upgrade this thing, I'm pretty sure. Yep, let's get a gold. Let's repair the armor. And we're chilling. This thing's at its max potential now. And I think when we hit round 30, I'll switch it over to my uh, Cavalry Lancer build. Uh, the late round build that we made before. Instead of our Task Force. And we'll see if that changes anything. Because I'm starting to see more armored zombies pop up. So once we start seeing those full body armored zombies that just tank every shot. The Lancer barrel's coming out. Oh no, there's an Abomination and our Ring of Fire is about to end. Let's try to get some hits on it before it does though. Okay, we took it out right as it ended. Cool. Okay, decoys going down, so I have a little time to reload here. Maybe two decoys. Okay, cool. Fully reloaded. We're good to go. And hopefully this gives me enough to get another ring of fire. Okay, we're gonna have to run. We almost did get a ring of fire, though. Look how close we are. We're like one kill away. We kind of probably toughed it out there. But instead, we'll just start the round with a ring of fire. Oh, max ammo. Beautiful. Literally don't even care about the ammo. I just wanted a full mag. So nice. Oh, and 69,000 points? Don't say it. You're nasty. Disgusting. Oh, we got Shotgun Master. Let's go. I am indeed the master of shotguns. I think now's the time that we go ahead and switch this to our, our late round street, street, street sweeper. Jeez. What? Did I not save it? Oh, no. Or maybe because I edited it. Let's try to switch to the carnival game one. Pop out a game. Okay. And I'll change class. Edit. Where's our late round one? Oh, custom mobs right here. I'm stupid. It was in a whole nother tab. There we go. And good thing we switched to this barrel now. Because I just saw an insanely armored zombie and it was still taking a few shots to kill him. But not a bad idea switching to this. Okay. I got to leave this corner though. Because there's an abomination coming and I don't have a ring of fire. These two abominations spawn this round. And he's just wiping out all my zombies, dickhead. I need those kills. This thing slays when it has ammo. It, it spreads zombie cheeks like warm butter. But then it just takes so long to reload. I'm going to be complaining about the reload this whole video. If you haven't already noticed. Yeah, look at this difference between our crits and our eliminations. 1,800 eliminations, 1,200 crits. We're 600 behind. Oh, yeah. These armored zombies are tanking shots. I need to get out of here. There's our threshold camera, though. 1,500 crits. So we're at 2,289. We'll be all done. We need just a thousand crits from here. It's going to be a long ride. Okay, everybody on the decoy, please. Thank you. Mangler, if you could please be a, so kind to die. It looks like you did. Thanks. Appreciate it. Last zombie. How about a crit? I got a nice crit warmed up for you. Oh, there's our chemical camo. We're all done with pack a bunch of kills, but I'm going to die. Nading at the ground. I'm down. Can we kill this disciple while we're down? I don't think so. We might have to just use a self-revive. I got plenty of salvage. I'm not worried about it. That's our first down of the game. It took 35 rounds. 10 rounds after I thought we were going to get messed up in the spot. So not bad. I'm going to try to take out a few zombies here. That way we're, we have a better chance of getting our perks back. I think we should be good. We should be fine. We definitely need to grab another self-revive, repair our armor, all that good stuff. So run through here. I think we can do it all in this area. Let's make sure our armor's fixed. Disciple, you can just leave anytime. Both of you. Oh, a mimic. Of course. Hello, Mimic. Glad you could join us today. Little dickhead. And then let's grab everything back besides Elemental. And we got one zombie. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure we get the self-revive and then we're good to go back to grinding. Holy shit. Oh, it's rough out in these streets. No sweeper. We might as well go out with double points. Actually, we're, we're chilling right now. We're doing well. That was just a little tough there for a second. Get on the decoy. Leave me alone. Fuck off. Okay. These rounds are getting a little tough now. Round 37 might be the breaking point. I have very little armor. Let me buy it back fast enough. Now I hit the wrong button. Never mind. The training in this game is stupid easy though. 
Let's try it again. There we go. Yeah, I think Ring of Fire was the right choice. Aether Shroud might be safer, but Ring of Fire is definitely more efficient. Oof. Sounds are getting difficult. We made it to round 40, though. 1,672 crits. Our uh, crits are running away. Our eliminations are running away from our crits right now. Oh, jeez. Not again. No, we're back down. Oh, we got knocked down when we get up again. So you're never going to keep me down? Probably get the hell out of this corner, though. Yeah, I think I've cleared out most of the round. I'm going to go get my perks back. And we're all set. Right back to normal. About 400 crits to go. Not too bad. I said round 43. I don't know if it's going to be round 43. I don't know if we can get 200, 400 crits in this round. Not going to happen. But we've only gone down twice, which is a lot less than I was expecting. Oh, no. No, not again. And we're back down. That was awful on my part. Could have definitely got out of that a lot easier. Let's see if I can get up with quick revive, though. Not waste the self revive. Oh, that zombie was standing near us for so long. We got so little damage on him. All right, let's just revive. All right, I don't think there's that many zombies left in around. I think we can try to swindle our perks back. But new prediction, since we're not getting out of here at 43, I'm going to say 45. I think we can get this done in two more rounds. Not too bad. I hear an abomination. Bring that shit over here, abomination. I see you up there. Come on down. Come on, pal. Don't be up there trying to shoot your laser. Why don't you come down here and talk to me? Let's have a conversation. Yeah, there you go, you little bitch. Oh, shit. I don't have Ring of Fire now. I'm the little bitch. I'm out of here. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. So once I hit around like round 37, I've had to leave that spot uh, at least once around. Now we're in the 40s, maybe even twice. But that spot worked pretty well with just Ring of Fire for a long time. Let's try to get a Ring of Fire back while we're at it. This fucking guy can stop lasering me. Get out of here. Go to sleep. I don't even need a Ring of Fire for you. Oh, I'm fucked. Nade, go. Not in time, unfortunately. That was very bad training on my part. Awful training. I've been talking about how easy the training is in this game anyways. I still go ahead and fuck it up. All right, it's round 45. Uh, if we can get 200 crits this round, or like 100 something, 150 maybe, we can get out of here on only my second prediction for this game. Oh, shit. We didn't get to my corner, but we got a ring of fire off and a decent amount of kills from it. Okay, so we didn't get it on round 45, but we're extremely close. Is that it? No, we're extremely close. Like 30 away, I think. So it's this round we'll be done. If I get stunned, give me those crits while y'all can't move. Another stun. One more. Plus the ring of fire and it's over. It's gotta be it right here. No way they're surviving this without Dark Aether. Come on, show me the gold viper. Pop it up on screen. What? There's no way. I gotta make sure these last few zombies are, are crits then. There's one. Armored zombie, gone. Oh, I only got a heavy elimination for that. Mangler, do you want to be the final crit? Mm, not looking like it. Big rip, dude. We're very close. Extremely close. Literally, we're going to get it within the first few seconds of this round. But no exfil for me. All right, check this out. The gold viper decoy right here. Give me those crits. Come on. I know you want to give me the camo. What about now, please? What? I keep faking myself out. All right, right here, though, for sure. No other way around it. Gold Viper, baby. Show me it. Show me the camo. There it is. Right here. What? Was it 300? It might have been 300. Or maybe even 400. I don't even know anymore. I completely forgot. But it's coming right here, though. This is it. Right here. As long as I don't die. It's coming up. I can feel it. Right about here. Oh, we leveled up. Level 69. That's what we're waiting for. Show me Gold Viper. Dead eye. There here it is. Gold Viper and level 69 within the same few seconds. Let's go. We got it done. All right. I'm going to try to survive in this corner for as long as I can, but it's not looking like it's going to be very long. <laughs> We've been having to leave this corner every few seconds, but if we can get a ring of fire, maybe. Okay. We're immediately dead. Immediately. Immediately down. Let's tombstone shadow. Fuck it. What are they going to do? Kill me? I doubt it. Because guess what? Only thing that kill me is me. Okay. And maybe these zombies, maybe the zombies might kill me. They might, they might, they just might do it. Yep. Okay, well, I'll hold myself revive. Okay, what? You can't kill me three times in a round? Huh? What's up? What's the matter? Can't kill me three times? Okay, maybe they can. But if we just self revive here, we get a quick revive going. Maybe, perhaps. Yeah, this 1911 does nothing. I can get up though. It'd be a W. There's one zombie over here that's extremely weak. Let me find him. There he is, this guy. That's our man. Shoot him in the ass a few times. Okay, now don't be hiding behind other zombies. That's not going to help you. Zombie, if you can move out of the way so I can get to this lower zombie. Okay, never mind. What? There you have it. 3,572 eliminations, 3, 2,315 crits, zero vibes, four downs. That's a little inflated there at the end, but we didn't go down too much before round 40. Once it hit round 40, it should hit the fan. But let's go ahead and see what these camels look like. <laughs> let's go. And let me set the Street Sweeper to default. That way we can see what the camos actually look like. And this is Gold Viper on the Street Sweeper. This is the worst Gold Viper I've ever seen. It's hardly even on the gun. Everything is default here. And the only Gold Viper that's on there is extremely scraped. What were they thinking with the camo coverage on this? This is awful. That is the worst I've seen. 
Plague Diamond always knocks it out of the park. Very nice. Very, very little diamonds, though. They, they're skimping on this one. And the Dark Aether's gross. Uh, the coverage on this gun sucks. Why are they going to do that? They put so much emphasis on the mag because that's the only thing you're ever touching while you're playing. I want to see if there's any other mags that, that change this. No. Okay, well, maybe if I put on this Blasting Lantern Drum from another blueprint, it looks better. So I'll throw that on. Is there any stocks that change it? Not looking like it. Let's see if the blueprint one. Nope, that looks awful. Yeah, what? There's not even coverage on the stock at all. That's so disappointing. Anyways, let's go hop in game and see what it looks like with this. By the way, I am going to be using the, the blueprint. Uh drum mac on this though just so it looks a little better all right this is what the street sweeper looks like with dark aether on it of course i put on that extra blueprint drum mag so it looks a little better uh honestly the coverage on it is extremely disappointing it sucks that you have to have a specific blueprint and i think i got it from a battle pass or something because i haven't bought much on this account but it, it's really unfortunate that, that you have to have that for the whole drum to be shown the biggest part of the weapon has no coverage on it whatsoever and that's extremely disappointing the gold viper on it was tragic it, it's just they could have done so much better with the coverage on this gun and it's like they they forgot to do it almost extremely disappointed but uh glad it's done glad it's over with so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here uh this, this weapon it was not that bad actually just a little slower than some other weapons but there's definitely worse things to do or worse guns to grind in zombies and th this one is just kind of on the borderline like it's just a little slow to be annoying but it's not too bad like damage wise or anything it's like right down the middle but i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here so if you guys like this and you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't and you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing put out all kinds of cod content throughout the week that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later